Today I'm going to be assembling this new updated rear frame structure for the Gallardo. I've cut out all the parts, so let's just get busy gluing it all together. First thing to do is glue a few pieces onto the, this very bottommost flat piece that sits directly against the chassis of the model. Uh, I'll just use like PVA glue. I use PVA glue for most of the construction of the car. It's just because it's like it's cheap, it's easy to buy. You know, you can buy it from any kind of hardware store or craft store or like office supplies shop. Um, it's cheap. It dries pretty quick. It dries clear. It's like non-toxic, um, and yeah, it's just generally pretty good to work with. So I just like layer each piece up with a little bit of um, glue like that. That was actually probably a little bit too much, but the 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 key thing is just to kind of like evenly spread it out over each piece. Um, position it as carefully as you can and then just like weigh it down. Big dirty old like tech book that you don't use anymore is a pretty good thing to use for like just weighing pieces down while they dry. OS 10.5 Leopard manual, yep that's a pretty good thing just to kind of weigh your pieces down with. This kind of A-frame piece, there's actually two main A-frame pieces. Each of them comprises of three individual pieces. So we just like layer each of the three pieces up, put a bit of glue around each, line them up nicely, put something heavy on the top and just wait for it to dry. And um, yeah, and this is the second one. This is um, kind of the same process, just a bit of glue around each piece, line it up nice and tidily. I kind of just eye it up, do the third piece, this third layer, bit of glue, sit it on top, uh, make sure it's kind of aligned evenly and then just put a, a book or something like that on the top and wait for it to dry, done. Now these two like A-frame pieces, they have like some body coloured um, finishing pieces that kind of go on the outside uh, to kind of cover up the edge. You can kind of see the edges, they're just like bare foam board. That doesn't really look very good, so what I'll do is I'll just cover the outside of most of these A-frame sections just with body colored card. I've got glue on my fingers here, so I have to use a different part of my finger so I don't smear glue all around the, the nice shiny surface. And then again, you just use like a, a book to weigh it down flat while it dries. Same with the other side. Bit of glue, lay the piece on the top nice and flat. Uh, that little piece, that little tab that I'm folding up, it just kind of locks into one of the like neighboring pieces that we glued on. That little tab thing that uh, is gonna be, like that's what the upper rear suspension arm joins onto. And, and that section there too also has this little own shiny body colored piece that sits over the top and covers the edge of the foam board and just looks um, just looks shiny and nice. So what we'll do is just fold it up, a couple of folds. When you're folding stuff like this, just fold it over the edge of a table or in this case just over the edge, the straight edge of my cutting mat, at least just to get the fold started. And then you can just finish off folding up um, the pieces by hand like that. Bit of glue. Generally I just use too much glue actually don't need as much glue as you, you think you need. So you can come in there with a little piece of a little piece of cardboard or something and just remove some of the excess and spread it out a bit kind of um, more evenly and, and flatter. Pop the piece over top. Hopefully it should just pop on and fit pretty nice. Yep, that looks pretty good. Just make sure it's nice and evenly um, smooth down, smooth down the edges, just hold it for a few minutes until it dries. Looks good. And now same with um, the, yeah, the, the rest of the surfaces uh, have this, this kind of piece that I've designed that has big tabs that fold over and just ob obscure or just hide the, all that kind of exposed foam board that you can see. So just fold up the tabs like that, starting on the on the edge of the table, on the edge of the cutting mat. Fold them up uh, so they're nice and um, they're just kind of creased, nice and, and straight. 
yeah looks good just start all the start all the folds make sure they're as neat as you can um, finish them up just on the sitting them on the table like that that little piece had like a little tab on the end so I just fold that around by hand it's generally a good idea and what I generally do is to kind of do a test fit with pieces like this before I put um, all the glue on um, just to make sure everything kind of fits well um, there's nothing worse than like putting a bunch of glue on and then going to put the piece over the top and finding that for some reason something's in the way or it doesn't fit properly or you haven't quite cut something properly and then you've got like glue on there drying and you're trying to like you know cut the part to fit and stuff so just do a test fit make sure it's good then put your glue on and it should come up pretty good like that again just yeah use a book um, to weigh it down while it dries keep it all kind of um, flat and smooth and straight all those little tabs that we folded up um, they need a bit of glue again I've put too much in there so I go in there with a little piece of cardboard and just remove a bunch of excess glue and kind of smooth it all out um, spread the glue out kind of evenly um, and then just hold all those little tabs with as many fingers as you've got and hopefully it dries nice and smooth and then there's just a couple of other little pieces little finishing pieces like underneath like that so eventually when you like look underneath the car like from the bottom you won't see all that exposed foam board and once you've you've put all those little pieces on it should look like that you should have two of those they look pretty good nice next thing to do is like a big um, kind of uh, top piece to the, the rear frame that kind of straddles both of those upright A-frame pieces that we just um, just worked on uh, this top A-frame piece comprises of like two um, oh, I should know about like three or four kind of um, layers just put a bit of glue on line it up as best I can by eye make sure it's um yeah make sure everything lines up well and sits flat again just put like a, a book over the top and wait for it to dry as normal um these are engine mounts um eventually when i get around to de to designing and building the motor um the uh, it'll mount onto these um so each one of those just has two separate little pieces and then there are also like two kind of uh, right angle bracket type pieces which um, connect to the bottom of the rear frame and those upright A-frame pieces that we worked on earlier each of these two brackets has two separate pieces so just yeah just a bit of glue stick them together it's pretty straightforward like that Then each of those has its own little body coloured kind of um, finishing piece that goes over the top as well. Again, just to hide the edges of those of that foam board because the foam board isn't very pretty. And yeah, just a bit of glue, fold up, fold up the finishing shiny body coloured piece. Sit it in there, make sure that everything's kind of lined up nice. Hold it there for a couple of minutes until it starts to dry. And then um, yeah, just the same for the other side and they're done and then oh, there's like two little kind of box sections that um, fold up from flat pieces that I, I totally forgot to turn the camera on so I, I can't show you um, me folding those up but they just kind of fold up and stick together with little tabs and then on top of those um, two of the engine mounts just get glued I'll show you a bit later on where these kind of where these little box sections sit on the rear frame Now back to that like bottom most rear frame piece that we worked on at the start. Um, it just has some like little kind of detail um, pieces that um, just slot into the into the foam board. What I've done is just taken like the top layer of the foam board and then you can press the detail pieces of cardboard um, into the foam board. So it just, it just sits in there. I don't even use glue for most of these little bits. It just adds detail like the real car has. 
you know, like little bits of, of metal and, and brackets and box section parts and stuff like that. It adds detail and it's not too hard to make. The hardest part is really just kind of just cutting the pieces out. But um, yeah, you just fold up the little details, slot them into the foam board. Um, oh, there's that little tab on the side that needs a bit of glue. Uh, but the rest of it just kind of sits there and presses in and holds itself. And then there's, it's just a tiny little, tiny little detail piece that sits in there as well. Done. Now we can get one of those little upright A-frame pieces that we worked on earlier. And that just sits into the rear frame with uh, some little tabs that I've cut in, into to some of the pieces. They just, they just slot into little, little holes. And it should sit there pretty nice. I'm not actually going to glue that in at this point because there's a chance that later on I'll, I want to do like a new, what, like another version of this rear frame. I want to make modifications and maybe swap those A frame pieces out because I don't know yet whether I've included all the details that need to be on there. Uh, so I'll just set them in there for now, but that should be okay. And now I'm just gluing on the engine mounts and put in the other A frame piece for the other side. It's looking pretty good. And then there's just those little two uh, bracket pieces. See, they kind of hold, they join into the, the upright A-frame and the bottom of the rear frame and just kind of hold it there in place. Now there's some more detail work to go on on this, this top piece. That little thing I'm folding up just now, that's actually going to be where the, um, the rear coilover um, shock um, shock absorber joins onto. Um, so they just kind of fold up, bit of glue, they make like little strong brackets once they're dry. Now it's time just to add that top piece to the rest of the assembly. Uh, there's a bit of a fit, bit of fiddling around really, eh? like just getting the tabs that I've put to kind of like slot in nicely and get it all aligned up kind of fiddle around for ages trying to get it to sit in there nicely um, but once it's in there properly it looks pretty good that's pretty much the final assembly of the rear frame so now all we need to do is just take the old one or the previous version of the rear frame out of the model um, so we can fit the new one in there's just a couple of top um, kind of brace pieces that just slot out it's just sitting in there using like tabs and slots just take out the old ones and then the entire um, previous version of the rear frame can just slide out. I, again, I hadn't glued that on there because I knew that at some point I wanted to do, I wanted to fit this new updated version. And I might, as I say, I might do like another new version of it at some point as well. But for now, this is, this should be all right. A little bit of work just to kind of make sure everything lines up and then if, if I've got all the little bits and pieces where they should be, uh, there's a bit of, bit of tweaking there but in a second it should just slide into place. Nice. Yep, looks good. Sorry about the blurred shot. Oh, that's a bit sharper. Uh, concentration face there. Once those top brackets have been um, put back in, there's just those two little um, kind of box section parts that hold the um, the engine mounts. Again, I'll just sit them in there for now. Uh, eventually they'll be glued in properly, but for now I'll just sit them there. And there we go, done.